Okay, emergency press conference time, Joe Rogan. Um, he's all over the news. He's getting canceled. First, it was for uh, COVID misinformation, they say, and then they switch it. He's racist, and there's all these past examples, a mashup of him saying the N-word, as well as a horrific Planet of the Apes joke. Um, let me say, this is a no-win rant for me. Uh, the people who don't like me are going to be like, of course Dave said this or that. Go back in Dave's history. He said the N-word, too. I... I sang it in a Ja Rule song um, when I was announcing that I hired Ja Rule and Ashanti to play a Super Bowl party. And it's all mashed up. They got a video to try to make me look everything I've said. Not as bad as what Rogan's was, but still not great. So this is a no win because they'll dig it back up. And oh, of course Dave does this. Uh, having said that, let me say this. I've never spoken with Joe Rogan. I've never really listened to his show. Uh... The one time I did try to ask to go on the show for Joe Rogan, it was when all this, you know, the Business Insider stuff, I wanted to tell my side of the story to the biggest audience possible. And I thought he'd have my back since I had clear facts, never heard back. So it's not like I owe Joe Rogan anything. I, I don't know him at all. Um, having said that, I feel like I know enough people who I trust, value their opinion, think they're good people who love Joe Rogan. And yeah, that carries a little weight. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I saw his apology and a lot of people being like on the right, you can't apologize. If you apologize at all, you give them exactly what they want. I disagree with that. Uh, listen, I believe Rogan. I listened to his whole apology. He seems sincere. And I think he's learned his lesson. I already think he stopped using the N-word. I do believe him. Most of these times were out of context. Still, to say it that many times, 70 times, uh, over the course of 12 years or whatever it is, is crazy town. Um, I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years, and I think they dug up three total. One was the Ja Rule lyric. One, I was quoting EDP, what he was calling Brady at a home Patriots game, and the crowd was like, whoa. And another one was jail, when somebody said to Hank. So I never said it in casual conversation. Still looks bad. And... I learned you never say, listen, uh, what people get offended by, saying lyrics, whatever, not my place, never going to do it again. The Planet of the Apes joke, horrific. That's just a racist thing to say. Um, I'd be wildly offended. And he should apologize. If you're like, he shouldn't apologize for that, of course he should. Now, I've had my own friends call me a kike, and I'm Jewish, for any light, and they still work for me. So are you going to define 12 years of being on or you're going to uh, an entire lifetime with one really bad statement or that mashup out of context? No, I don't think you have, or you should. And to be honest, if you look at the media, whether it's Jimmy Kimmel, whether it's Howard Stern, everybody at Deadspin, who all were talking the same way, making off-color jokes, uh, they get a free pass. When they say that was the pass, I learned, I won't do it again, no one seems to care. But that, none of that's here nor there. I, the problem with this and with the Rogan canceling, this is a coordinated attack and nobody knows it. I may be most uniquely aware of what it's like to go through this because it happens to me, but you start okay with the COVID misinformation. It doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. A week later, you get this mysterious video of him saying the N-word Never should say it. Nobody's saying it. We're in different times. You shouldn't say it back then, but we've learned a lot more. Mashed together to make them look like trash. Like, how do you jump from that? We missed with COVID to this thing's ready to go a week later. And guess what? If this didn't stick, it would be on to sexism. And if this didn't stick, it would be on to anti-Semitism. And if this didn't stick, that's it. On and on it goes. It's coordinated. And at the end of the day, it's about power. It... People think it's crazy. COVID, the other stuff. Joe Rogan, and I feel like this has happened to me, switched into people view him as a political figure. I don't know him well enough. I don't think he's ever viewed himself that way. He started a podcast 12 years ago in his basement doing what he liked to do. And the thing got bigger and bigger and bigger. And people who don't like him and in power start viewing him as a threat. Trump brings in a whole new era of we got to control the media. It's a war for people's minds and he becomes a threat. That's how people view me. I don't say I'm political, but people view that way. So we got to tear him down, make him irrelevant um, and basically defame him. What really put me on. So, so again, you can make your mind up. 
You don't want to like Joe Rogan? Fine. You can be like, uh, you know, that, that, I'll never judge somebody. Like, he said that 70 times. I don't care if it's in context. I don't care if it's out of context. That uh, Planet of the Apes joke, he made that joke. Nope, he's dead to me. That's fine. Just know why people are trying to cancel him. And it's not because they care about racism. And it's not because they care about COVID misinformation. They want to control the media, the message, politics in the United States. That's it. You may think I'm crazy. That's it. I did see a thread and... I don't even know how to post it, but it basically brought up the three guys, this company and Patriot Takes and the ones who put this mysterious video together of all these old Rogan clips. It's like, God damn, that sounds exactly what happened to me. Like they went back in my history, found everything they could. Again, far less. I've been doing this for 20 years. You're going to find off color, missed jokes, whatever on any subject equally. Um, but it's like, damn, this sounds like the same exact thing that happened to me. So I went and looked up the account that's called Resist Programming, which always resurfaces all the most controversial, out of context things I've ever said. And I looked, who do these people follow? The top three followers for this account were the same exact people behind this Patriot Takes or whatever on Rogan. Again. Everybody can make up their mind. You can make up your mind on me. Dave sung a Jar Rule lyric five years ago to announce he hired him to play the Super Bowl. He's racist. I fucking hate him. What am I going to do about that? Nothing. Just know why they're telling you it. That's it. It is a battle that is taking place on social media and entertainment. The extreme left versus the extreme right. They're both hideous. The extreme left and clowns like these three guys, this media thing who do these hit pieces behind shadows in the cover of dark. They're trying to control the narrative, not because they think he's racist, not because they think he's spreading misinformation about COVID, because they view him as a threat for minds and votes in controlling the future. That's it. I know it sounds crazy, but that's fucking it. 